Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So again, this is my office. I really have no time to film at home these days. So if you will hear someone teaching or some noise, that those are my co-workers, yes. Okay, so as you can see in the title, I'm here to tell you how to travel cheaply. So as you know, as um, I mean, the reason why people subscribe to my channel is because I um, share tips on how to travel cheaply to other countries. So if you want to know how I travel cheaply to all these countries that I've been to, just keep on watching and make sure you subscribe to my channel and click that bell beside so you'll get notified whenever I have a new vlog up. Okay, let's go. So number one on the list is of course to wait for seat sales. I never book when it's not on sale and the cheapest out of the country ticket I've booked was just 50 pesos and that is from Singapore to Manila with uh, 40 kilos baggage and in-flight meal. The most expensive was 4,000 pesos. This was because my original flight was rebooked. I had to rebook it on Holy Week and it's also spring so it's really peak peak season. So that price is not really expensive, but for me, that's expensive. All right, so number two, don't splurge on accommodation. You're not really going to stay on your bed or in your room the whole day because you'll be out exploring the country the whole day. You only need the bed. And what I do or what I did in Korea was I stayed at a dorm or hostel or a guest house with other people for five days and then I stayed for the last two nights in a private room. It was small because it's also cheap but for me that's already expensive like 2000 a night. So I just wanted my own space so I could arrange my stuff like pasalupong, souvenirs and I want to open my luggage wide and I want to have my own toilet so I could do my business better. So yeah. And tip number three is you can notice I know you've seen this set of clothes before. I've worn this in Cambodia, in Japan, in Korea, in Singapore. I've worn this in every country that I've been to and I also wear this in the office so I don't spend money on OOTDs because I, I travel not for fashion, I travel not for pictures, but I travel to experience the culture. And tip number four, I don't go all out on shopping. I don't buy pasalubongs anymore. I used to, but when I became like a real traveler that I travel really often mm -hmm. and I realized that my friends are having their own collection of my souvenirs or of my pasalibongs, I stopped doing it. Even my family don't really ask me to buy anything. My mom always asks for just ref magnet or a t-shirt and that's it. So I don't really have a long list of souvenirs or of people that I have to buy a gift for. And tip Number five, I don't take taxis, I don't take cabs, I always take the bus and the subway. Those are the public transportation because it is cheaper and faster and you'll experience more of the country of how people usually live their daily, daily lives in that country. So yeah, don't take cabs or grabs or Uber unless it's cheap. Yeah, like countries like Vietnam, Uber there was just the same as in the Philippines, so it was okay. All right, and tip number six I balance the expenses on a daily basis. So, for example, I spent too much on food today because I met a friend or something happened, I splurged on something. So, if I spent a lot of money today, the next day I'll be spending less, I'll be um, spending less on food. Yeah, and since I travel alone, no one will really know or no one will really care if I eat cheaply. For example, when I went to Guangzhang Market in Korea, I bought the yuke bibimbap for just 8,000 won or 7,000 won which is like 300 pesos and that's one of the cheapest meals I had in Korea. Tip number seven is to do your research well. 
I've always done this and it could save you a lot of money if you know where to go or where to take this bus or yeah because if you can if you've watched my Thailand vlog I did not research anything on that trip so I got lost and we wasted money and time a lot of money on time because of not researching Tip number eight use promo codes i use them on agoda and Klook to get discounts tip number 10 i oh no tip number nine i attend travel fairs as well to get vouchers or promo codes that i can use because these promo codes or vouchers do not just pop up on your social media or on your email you have to make an effort to get discounts yes and which one the last one oh, about shopping like i spend more on food than on clothes even for souvenirs like i will when i went to korea i spent more money on souvenirs like snacks sauces even in thailand and i don't really buy a lot of makeup shoes those things so you have to prioritize where will you spend your money on food on clothes on experiences or what so those are my top 10 tips on how to travel cheaply they sound really simple but it could be difficult when you're traveling so that's it and if you have any questions suggestions opinion just comment down below thank you for watching